these assets have been built using public money thousands and thousands of crores of rupees over the last 70 years now the prime minister is in the process of selling the crown jewels of this country prime minister and the bjp said that the congress party has done nothing in 70 years there is a list here of all the assets that the congress party has helped build these assets have been built using public money thousands and thousands of crores of rupees over the last 70 years now the prime minister is in the process of selling the crown jewels of this country now we had a privatization policy we are not against privatization we believe that there should be a strategy for privatization what was what were the pillars of our strategy first of all no strategic asset will be sold in that there is defense in that there is railways you can see that is strategic asset is being sold right we said only companies which are chronically loss making only companies which have minimal market share and we will not sell companies where there is a risk of a monopolist so where the public sector can help ensure that the industry is fair free and is not monopolized we will not sell that sector. this entire privatization is designed to create monopolies the whole idea behind this thing is to create monopolies for three or four people and my young friends who are today searching for a job cannot find a job you have to understand that the reason you cannot find a job is because the entire small and medium industries have been destroyed and the reason they've been destroyed is because the prime minister insists on building two or three monopolies that own everything in this country. This is not just a gifting of India's assets. This is going to ensure that the young people in India will not be able to find employment in the future. I gave a warning during Corona. I said to you that Corona is going to be a disaster. I was ridiculed. I am saying to you again, this thing is going to ensure that our young people do not get jobs. This is going to ensure that our entire industrial structure is controlled by two or three people. And so as a youngster, it is your duty and my duty to fight this and to make people understand what the Prime Minister is doing. The Prime Minister is not working for the people of India. The Prime Minister is working for two or three monopolists. There are many other issues related to this, uh, which we haven't gone into the details of, but we are, we are concerned. There is the issue of what happens to reservations, for example. There is the issue of what happens to strategic industries. So we are going to study those things and we are going to come out with a viewpoint on those uh, ideas. But the central idea here is that what this country has built over the last 70 years is being given away. Right? There is an excuse they have come up with that we are leasing this. Right? You are leasing, for example, you are leasing a, a gas pipeline. You are leasing it for a percent of the value. How much money has the Indian, have the Indian people put into building that pipeline? Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of crores have been put into that to create that asset. 
now you're going to take a little bit of rent from that asset and you're going to gift the asset to these, these people. And what's going to happen after 40 years? Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen after 40 years? Now, the government clearly has mishandled the economy. The government clearly does not know what to do. They have basically destroyed what the UPA built. And now, as a last resort, they are selling everything that we had helped create. So to me, this is a huge tragedy. And it is something that every patriotic person, every nationalistic person should oppose.